After two years, Roanoke still sucks, and some people even call it a dumpster fire. Let's have a talk about it. Everybody quiet, please. Hey, Rob Jesse here with the Jesse Realty Group, and we get calls from all over the country asking what it's like to live in Roanoke, what it's like to play in Roanoke, uh, jobs, different things like that. Uh, two years ago, we did uh, this video on the five common complaints uh, in the Roanoke area, and we're here to update them today. So let's do this. All right, so let's jump in. And if you stay till the end, you'll hear the number one complaint in the Roanoke area. Um, for me being old, I don't see it a problem, but some people do. So let's count this down. Number five, we get a lot of complaints that there's nothing to do in the Roanoke area. Now I can see uh, during the COVID time, and, and we're still in that, but during the lockdowns and shutdowns and whatever else, uh, there wasn't anything to do. Actually, nobody had anything to do. Uh, but in the Roanoke area, there's a ton of things to do. We're ranked nationally as far as our mountain biking trails. Uh, if you love the outdoors, this is going to be the place for you. Uh, we're minutes, uh, you know, from the Appalachian Trail. We have, I think it's 33 miles of greenway that you can walk and ride your bike and skate and things like that. Uh, we are 45 minutes from Smith Mountain Lake, uh, a couple hours from skiing. So we have a ton of stuff to do. Not only that, if you do not like the outdoors, which some people don't, we have theaters, museums, uh, and different things like that. And like I said, we're four hours uh, to Virginia Beach. We're three hours from Richmond. So if Roanoke doesn't have something you like, we're in the middle to where you can go anywhere uh, on a day trip. Number four is the cost of living. Cost of living here now, inflation's hit the whole US and maybe the whole world, I don't know. But uh, inflation has really gone up. Rental prices have gone up. Housing prices have gone up. But Roanoke is still 13% lower as far as the cost of living than the national average. So that's a good thing. If you're coming to live in Roanoke, cost of living things are a little cheaper here. If you want to know the cost of living in Roanoke, hit that button up there and you'll find out if you can afford to live in Roanoke. Now, if this is the first time on my channel, be sure to hit that like button if you like what you're hearing. Uh, also subscribe and hit that bell mm -hmm. so that uh, you get notifications every time I upload a new video. So let's go on to number three. Number three, there are no jobs. There are a million jobs. Literally everywhere in Roanoke right now is hiring. Now it may not be the $50 an hour that you want or things like that, but when you look at our unemployment rate compared to the US, we're right in line with everybody else. And also, if you're looking for a job and you don't like what you're doing, people think that they're pigeonholed to work for Carillion or work for the hospital because we have a lot of medical jobs here. That's not true. There are a ton of jobs here that are willing to train you. So if you want to learn how to, to, to work on air conditioners or work in construction, a lot of these companies are starting to offer apprenticeships to where you get paid to learn. And that's always a good thing because we need those people also. Number two is our homeless population. Doesn't bother me because I don't spend a whole lot of time downtown, but one of the bigger complaints on our channel is homeless population asking for money and things like that. I don't think that we're any different from any other city. Actually, I think we have a smaller homeless population uh, compared to everybody else, like the bigger cities, Richmond, New York, San Diego, Los Angeles, things like that. And there's actually, there's been a report put out that uh, from HUD that says that Roanoke's homeless population is down 13.5%, which is awesome news. Uh, we do have programs out here like the Rescue Mission and things like that that'll help uh, homeless people, give them shelter, help them get back on their feet. Uh, all of those programs, you have to meet their requirements and you have to do the things they want you to do. Uh, and that's the way the world is, period. So one of the complaints I get from the from a homeless shelter is that they make you uh, 
pray and, and they push religion. You know, if you want to stay there, unfortunately, sometimes you got to do the things you don't want to do. So that being said, Roanoke's homeless population down 13.5%, uh, which is super awesome. And there it is. It doesn't bother me too much. Now you've waited for this one, and I'm sure that it's going to cause a lot of commotion, but the shootings. Every day we seem like we're getting shooting, shooting sometimes a couple times on a weekend and things like that. Uh, I've even had people on my YouTube channel say that uh, it's like the little Chicago. Uh, we are nowhere near Chicago as far as violent uh, crimes. Actually, Roanoke is 27% lower in violent crimes than Chicago, so we're not close. Uh, but we are, as you look at the statistics, and I'll put a link down below uh, so that you can uh, see the statistics, but the statistics also show that we are 13% higher than Chicago in property crimes. Now, I don't know if that's just because we are or things aren't being reported or whatever. You take it however you want it. But as far as violent crimes and worried about getting shot in a drive-by and things like that, that's not really happening in Roanoke. Uh, there aren't four-year-old little girls getting shot randomly walking across the street. Are there people out there shooting each other? Yeah, and I do believe that they are all related in some sorts, how they, they either know each other from drugs or, or, or things like that. So I don't believe that the, the violent crimes is, is a real picture of, of growing. I've lived here all my life. I've never felt unsafe. I've never been mugged. I've never been robbed. Um, but I also don't go downtown at 12 o'clock in the morning. I'm not out until two or three o'clock in the morning. Uh, my mother always taught me that if uh, it's after 12, there's nothing good going on. So I typically stay away from those areas then. Listen, if you like what you hear, if you're looking to move to Roanoke or looking to sell your home in Roanoke, I would love to have a chat with you and uh, talk about it. This may not be the fit for you, I'm going to be honest and let you know this may not be the fit. But if it is, reach out to me. Uh, you can either text me, call me, email me. Heck, you can even send your owl to send me a letter. However you want to do it. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a great day. Until next time.